Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing the reading for the sign of Scorpio. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Scorpio. So let's see what we have for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, what I feel for you, I feel like you may be dealing with some sort of Gemini or Aries. So with Gemini Aries placements in their chart. But let's see what we have for Scorpio. If you don't know this person, you may be dealing with them soon. Be someone newer coming into your life. You have the high priestess. All right, so you're the high priestess here. You're very intuitive. Maybe you work with the moon to pull things in here. Maybe you do some sort of magics, Scorpio. All right, we have justice. You brought in divine justice, Scorpio. That's what you did. You worked with the moon here to bring in justice all right and this may have been when we were in libra season could have been last full moon here or last moon cycle we have a lovers like i said <laughs> there's a lover here coming your way and i feel like it's someone with those those placements in their chart in that sun sign or they're coming into your life or whatever whatever all right scorpio but this is going to be someone here who mirrors you a lot we have a knight of swords you're very focused maybe you were very focused on bringing this into your life the Page of Swords. This is going to be a person that intrigues you a lot, Scorpio. They're going to fascinate you a lot. Like, oh my goodness. We have the Ten of Cups. All right. We have Soul Family here. So they're going to be like a part of your Soul Family. But I feel like there's other people coming your way. It doesn't have to be in a romantic sense. But I feel like they're also part of your Soul Family here. Like your Soul Tribe. And I feel like this is what really brings a lot of joy, happiness. All right. A lot of people here that mirror you. You have Judgment. All right. So you may be waking people up, getting them out of their bubbles here, Scorpio. Maybe waking them up more to the spirit world and spirituality. We have the Empress. We have Yamaya. Okay. So you have the goddess Yamaya here that you are connecting with, Scorpio. That is the goddess here you are working with to bring all this in. All right. Maybe one of the goddesses here. But we have this particular goddess around you. We have Temperance. We have Sagittarius. You have those placements in your chart, one around you here. But like I said, you may do some sort of magic here. Or you're a very magical person. All right, but I do feel like you do some sort of magic. And it's not bad because you're bringing in love. You're bringing in happiness. Nine of Cups. You're bringing in your wish fulfillments. You have a Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you've been single here for a while. You have the Nine of Wands. You've been on a journey, actually, Scorpio. You've been sitting here in your emotions. All right, Nine of Pentacles. You've been on a journey in life. And you're getting your wish fulfillment. You may have been through a lot of stuff here, but you're getting your happiness. We have a Three of Cups, and it's going to be a time to celebrate. Two of Swords. So maybe people here are trying to come up against you, but don't focus on it because you've got a Twin Flame here. Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you got those placements in your chart. Maybe your person will here. All right. But I do feel like there's also a lot of money coming your way. You have a Seven of Swords. Six of Cups. We have a group of people here who... Are acting silly and kind of just they're never serious so don't take them serious you may have walked away from these people here eight of cups because it's just like you couldn't have a serious conversation with them they never like it's just you know those people like you're trying to tell them something and they're too busy like making a joke of the situation and it's like this is a very serious situation you need to get with it you know what i'm saying so you may have walked away from those type of people here you went towards the moon of the two of pentacles all right you have the rabbit here so we're connecting with the rabbit Scorpio, rabbit is good luck, it's prosperity, it's abundance, it's fertility. We also have the fish right underneath of it. The fish is nurturing, all right? So you're connecting with that. Like I said, with the, with you connecting with those animals, that's what you're bringing in. Everything I just described there, here, with that card. Now the king of swords, maybe you have some sort of air placements in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, ten of wands. Maybe you're cutting out the burdens of what was burdening you. Tower. Yeah, I feel like there is something here that has a heavy burden on you. Right? And that's going to be removed, Scorpio. All right? Strength. You're being freed here. But we're also connected with the whale spirit. You have a seven of wands. You have a star. All right? Maybe you have Aquarius placements in your chart. Okay? But you, you're putting out vibrations into the universe. Yeah, the Four of Swords, you may have been healing and resting as well. Page of Cups, we have a surprise message coming in, Scorpio. What is this? We have Knight of Wands. 
Ten of Pentacles. You have a surprise message here about money, food, family. Okay. Maybe you put those vibrations out in the universe that you actually wanted that, and now it's coming in and surprised you. Like, whoa. Yeah, the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there may have been some people here that may have hurt you here. It be intentionally or unintentionally. I feel like you may be healing from. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. These may have been a, like people that you tried to help here, maybe even financially. But they just weren't seeing your help. At the Queen of Wands, so we're connected with the goddess Pele here, which is a Hawaiian goddess. Ace of Cups, she's bringing you a new beginning, new new things. Four of Cups, but you got to see this opportunity that she's bringing you into your life, Scorpio. All right, you got to take that opportunity if you want it. We have the Hierophant, all right? So we can have some sort of contracts that you're signing. Maybe it's something new that involves contracts here, or maybe it's something with writing. Scorpio are studying. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like you're going to be blessed by this goddess here. But we, with this, it has runes on it. This rune symbolizes protection and also direction. So you're being directed towards this, guided towards this new opportunity that this goddess is bringing you. Magician, you're manifesting, Scorpio, three of wands. You're manifesting what you want into your future. Eight of swords. Don't get too much in the mind about it, though. The Eight of Wands, there's a sense of freedom, moving fast. Five of Wands, maybe even having people moving fast towards you. Two of Cups, we have love. All right. Nine of Swords. This. <laughs> we have the Sun. I'll get into these cards in a minute. <coughs> King of Cups. The Emperor. <coughs> the Devil. So we can have someone here coming towards you in love. All right, it can be in Aries or another water sign like yourself, someone with Aries water placement, Scorpio. Maybe they're moving very fast towards you, but I feel like for some reason you may be ignoring this person. Scorpio, Nine of Swords, look at this. Or maybe they're ignoring you or something out along those lines. You see? We also have the devil here. So we have the devil interfering with all of this right here. So you can burn some sage for that to kind of get this away, Scorpio. We do have this person here trying to approach you in love. All right, so that's all I have for you. If you want to see more content, do you like subscribe? Bye, guys.